What's up, bros and homies? My name is Ashley Optic Minute, and I'm here on another Wednesday bringing you another free for all tips and tricks video. This week, I'm covering the map Interchange. I actually got a ton of uh, requests for this, and this is actually a really good map to win free for alls on. A lot of people have a hard time with it, and it's actually pretty easy, and I'm gonna show you how. Alright, and as usual, I start off every uh, episode, I show you guys the spawns, and then I show you guys uh, spots that I like to use uh, based on where the spawns are, and then um, I show you a gameplay using that strategy, and as you can see, if you look at the top of the map, you can see there's a whole line of spawns, they're almost, some of them are like right next to each other, now, that is part of why the, f the spawn system is flawed in Modern Warfare 3, however, not everyone's gonna spawn right next to each other, it only happens sometimes, so so, um, anyway, uh, obviously, as you can see, since there's so many spawns on that one side, it's obviously going to be a hot spot. So right there is going to be where I'm going to be showing you, um, how I, I actually go 30-0 in the gameplay. I fucking take advantage of those spawns like, like no other, and I'll show you how. Um, another good spot that I've used before, I don't necessarily use it in the gameplay I'm going to show you, but it's right there in that corner, upper, uh, right-hand corner there, and... That's because uh, you see an X right behind where the bubble is, and people won't spawn there if you're standing there. They usually won't. However, the other Xs around there, they will always spawn there if you kill them near that big pile of rubble. So, um, that's actually a really good spot, but like I said, I will be showing you the main spot in this gameplay, which is by where all the spawns are, which is where you want to be in Free For All. I hope that you guys did enjoy the little spawn breakdown there, but as usual, I'm going to be showing you guys a gameplay where I actually utilize what I just showed you instead of just like showing a bunch of different clips. I actually want to show a full gameplay of how I win free for all on this particular map. Alright, let's get right into the gameplay here on Interchange, and I'm using the SCAR, usually I use like a MP7 or a PP90 or something like that, but on this map, since it it is bigger, I mean, even though I mostly kind of keep to this little area um, over here, I decided to use a, a, a SCAR just because I wanted some variation. I don't always want to use the G36, which is what I usually use. Um, and it was like, like in the last episode, I decided I did want to use a silencer for this map because I think a silencer most benefits you on this map, especially like, I, I really, I carefully choose my classes based on which map is gonna, it's gonna be on, you know? If I'm gonna be on a map like, like Hard Hat, I'm not gonna use a silencer because everyone pretty much knows where you're gonna be anyway. Everyone's always in that middle area. And on this map, you know, it's bigger. You don't really want to call all that attention to yourself. And I did know about this this area and these spawn system over here because when it's much like other maps that I've explained to you guys, when you kill somebody in this area, it will most likely spawn the person near you. And since there are so many spawn points near this area that I'm at, you can see that some of these names that I killed, they're over and over and over again. It's because they always want to kill me. And a couple people do get really close to killing me, but I do end up pulling out the flawless victory. And it goes really quick, especially once you get your air support up. Um, and, and people bitch all the time. They're like, oh, you used air support. You fucking suck. Are you kidding me, dude? The object is to win. That's what you're trying to do. I want, when I go into free for all, I don't say, hey, I want to take as long as possible to win. I say, hey, I want to win every game of free for all and I want to do it as quickly as possible with the best possible score. I think a lot of people have that mindset. Um, maybe, wow, look at the generic quad feed. <laughs> but, uh, maybe you guys can let me know what you guys use. I do use, like, specialist sometimes. I don't necessarily use support. And I don't know what happened with my aim right there. I was just, just like, I even checked my sensitivity after because, like, my aim was wild with that UMP. I don't know if you saw that. But that was just bad. But, um, other than that moment, I think I have a pretty good display of accuracy in this game. And, and, like, as you can see on this map, you know, these people aren't even trying to shoot it down. Once I get into a lobby with somebody who has like a SAM turret or something like that, I'm going to use specialists. But if I'm not, I mean, I'm going to take advantage of the people I'm playing against. I'm going to take advantage of the spawns, which is what I do over and over and over again. And that's, that's how you win. And that's, I don't know if that's necessarily a tip as much as it is just explaining common sense. Um, but I get a lot of like complaints on my videos. And here I almost died. I was like freaking out, but I ended up getting them. And uh, the air support does work while I just uh, control the spawns, and and that's basically how you, how I went 30 and 0 in this little little area on this map. And there's a lot of areas on different maps that that are like this one. So I'm hoping I can bring out some more solid gameplay for you guys. So 
Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope uh, these tips and tricks uh, really help you out. I hope the spawn uh, really helps you out, that spawn map. Because in that particular era, people, like I said, will spawn near you and they will come back for you. And you just have to be at that choke point to get those people. That's going to wrap up this week's free for all tips and tricks video with me, yours truly, Optic Midnight. If you did enjoy us, you please leave a like, comment, favorite, whatever. It helps my channel grow, really helps me out, and uh, I hope that you guys do enjoy this. Please leave a suggestion for what map you'd like to see next week, and I'll talk to you guys later.